please understand this Wednesday it is uh, a very special presentation of the gospel I don't want nobody to miss Wednesday please understand now Wednesday will probably get out at 9 but it's I'm telling you uh, we started before then picked it up with uh, Dr. Rob Thompson we picked it up with others this thing about relationships I've been moving in it um, there's something that's so clear P please please hear me everything we're doing now is strategic God spoke clearly to me the other day about what our theme is going to be in 2005 and how he's going to move in this congregation and what God is going to do or open up it's already done but open up release in time is so awesome for you it really blows me away this is the first time I knew exactly where we're supposed to be going this soon in next year and I'm here to tell you everything right now is strategically positioning say strategic positioning please understand that God is putting us in place that he will be able to move with us in all kind of dimensions and I'm talking to you about how God is placing us where we will not be in a place that we're distracted by other things please understand one of the things and one of the powers one of the things that my wife and I many was with us noticed while we we're in New Zealand uh, that uh, not only did the church it was much like everything they do is pattern after us they had a family life center uh, everybody works out I want you to know that I don't understand y'all y'all got the latest state-of-the-art family life center equipment etc and and we still are not understanding that God wants us to be healthy and because of that they're ready for the revolution there's some things that you need to start doing to prepare yourself that you're not worrying about being sick that you're not worried about being sluggish that you're not worrying about the, that that you can't come home and rest that you understand relationships that you can bind the devil and stop him that you're able to be fully focused on the things of God that your children are in order I'm here to tell you God is strategically taking away your distractions and I want you to know the reason why there's so much noise in your life right now is because you're in Ezekiel 37 and when God told Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones that means to put this thing in order it said there was a great noise in the valley I'm here to tell you the great noise that's in your life is not that God is upset with you the great noise that's in your life that is keeping you up and causing you to be disturbed is the noise of order God said because you started speaking it I'm now arranging it and because you have begun to believe it I'm making it come to pass there is a great noise in your life but don't you get discouraged and don't you run you just stand there and speak it I don't care what you see you speak and call those things to be as though they are because I'm here to tell you there's a clearing up coming and there's an order because whenever there's order there is the full blessings of God touch your neighbor and say I'm with that I want you to turn with me real quick to Mark 9 23 Mark 9 23 I want to be just a few moments I'll pick it up as we go I'm gonna pick this up ladies I am not coming to Savannah to preach a ladies message I'm opening up on Thursday night to start a riot in you I expect you to tear the convention center up because you have been denied so many years and so many generations that everything that was not received from your great-grandparents that God wanted to give them I declare by the time I finish opening up my mouth and sit down from thus saith the Lord you will be released in a dimension that you cannot be stopped you will not be a sniffling sister anymore you will not be a back bus rider you will be in the front matter of fact you'll own the whole station I am here to tell you I shall give you what God has ordained to empower you what's this I'm sick of life running me I'm sick of situations running me I'm trying to find some sick folk I'm sick of getting up to the same thing I'm sick of taking I'm trying to find somebody that's about ready to find out if God is true I'm tired of reciting scripture that I ain't seen yet. If the blind can have their eyes open, open up my eyes. If the lame can walk, give me feet to walk. If you can give me enrichment, Jehovah Jireh, then come on and be my provider. I dare you to show me your 
fell. I'm looking for some Moses that says, show me your glory and don't hide me in the cliff. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I got something to say. Y'all sit down for a moment. <sighs> Touch somebody and say, if you're tired, grab my coattail. Because I'm getting ready to fly up out of here. I'm tired of being where I've been. I'm tired of going through the same thing. I've got a radical something in my spirit that's about to burst loose. That's what I'm talking about. I need some folk who are sick and tired of the devil, sick and tired of misery, sick and tired of the old stuff. Wake up, old man, wake up. Dream dreams, see visions, prophesy. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I got a message here, but right now, I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. I feel somebody breaking out of depression. I feel God. I feel God believing that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I feel somebody understanding. I just heard something. I just heard something. God said to tell you, I have not left you. Somebody thought God left them. God said, I promised never to leave you. Never to leave you alone. Even if you don't feel me, I'm still there. Even good God Almighty. <laughs> Ah. I'm trying to release this thing. 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 God says, I've been speaking some radical stuff to you, and you've been holding back in the old guard. God said release yourself I said God said release yourself stop asking me how can this be it be because I am God I need you to work with me I need you to work with me I need you to work with me Ah, uh, I might not get past the first line of this thing. Can I read the first line of this? In Mark 23, this is for somebody, 923. Jesus said to him, Jesus said to her, You read it before I read it. I need to get that down in your spirit he said if you can believe if you can believe all things <laughs> you didn't catch that all things are possible to him or her who believes what's this mm. you, you, you didn't hear that what's this 
Watch this. I can't do that right now. I need you to hear this. Last week, Bishop Bloomer started, and then I'm, I'm going to be through. He started talking about the Tower of Baal, Babel, Tower of Baal. And he said that when they built this tower all the way up in the heavens, God said, the people are in agreement. And you got to catch this because this is this is your message I got 10 pages here but God cut everything to the chase he said these people are in agreement and I catch this King James says and nothing that they can imagine can be denied them you gotta catch this you gotta catch this this is powerful so so what did God do God scrambled their language watch this so they couldn't communicate Watch this and that's where most of us preach and stay it was powerful Bishop Bloomer last week but I need you to hear this this is even more powerful let me tell you what he didn't do he messed up their language but he didn't touch their imagination you, you, you didn't hear that did you hear that he said these people are in agreement and nothing they can imagine can be denied them so I'm going to kill their language so they can't communicate but I'm not going to touch their imagination why, why, why leave the imagination intact? Because, Bishop Bloomer, when I give them their language back, I want them to see inside of them and believe inside of them what I'm about to unveil because if you can imagine it what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? that's why he says you have to in Corinthians Paul says you got to cast down imaginations and everything that exalts itself against the word what's this because what God intends is for you to meditate on his word to a point your imagination goes crazy about what's about to be manifested and just as soon as you can see it in your mind's eye and believe it God said I will release it catch this catch this catch this catch this I'm through catch this catch this touch your name and say God needs just a little help what's this Watch this. I catch this. I catch this. I catch this. I'm through. I catch this. I catch this. I catch this. Genesis 13. I'm going to say this. 
What's this? I guess this. I guess this. I'm, I'm through. I guess this. You with me? Just, just guess this. Guess this. Can, can I tell you what God told me while I was watching my son yesterday? And I'll read this, and then, I'm, then, then we're out of here. Listen to me. I need you to hear me. Guess this. Guess this. My son, I had to get up early yesterday to take my son to his game, at an early game. Um, third quarter of his game, uh, his team was winning 43 to nothing. And I, I went to the restroom and came back in a few moments, and the game was over. I said, I know that quarter, fourth quarter didn't go that quick. And the guy told me, he said, uh, that's the skunk rule. I said, what, what do you mean? He said, whenever you're winning by 40 points or more in the third quarter, they don't even finish the game. Watch this. What's that? In essence, what they're saying to the opposing team, just quit. You're not going to win. Go back and figure out a new strategy because this is fruitless. God said to tell you, for some of you, this, this, you've been praying, this is an answer. God says, I'm calling your game. in this third quarter because you now entered into the fourth quarter of 2004 and I'm not going to let you keep your old ways and keep losing so I'm about to rearrange your mind because I need you to stop whatever you're doing touch your neighbor and say stop whatever you're doing because it ain't working and you're getting further and further behind as time goes but say hell no now uh, don't act like you ain't never said that word say you're about to win because God ain't gonna let you go out that way and in this fourth quarter of 2004 it's gonna make up for the three quarters that you already begun with I'm about to tell you something that's about to release you into a whole new dimension. I'm about. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Touch your name. Say, I'm about to take off now. I'm checking my rocket boosters. I'm checking my stuff. I'm about to move in something right now. I don't know about you. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Genesis 13. I'm about to 14, 13, uh, 14 through 16. Genesis 13, 14 through 16. And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him <laughs> look at me I, don't know. I hear God God said you've been hurt because somebody you love you covered you raised you nurtured you sacrificed for got the best of themselves and forgot who groomed them for God who sacrificed for them and they separated themselves from you and took what they thought was the best God said to tell you quit mourning over that separation because I've saved the best for the last quarter What's this? What's this? I don't know who that was for, but I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I just, I, I'm not talking about some. I don't know why I'm stuck here. I, I didn't even see this last night. I, I'm not talking about somebody who left you that you wanted to leave. 
I'm talking about you've been hurt by somebody you love and it's like they're blind and they don't remember they don't even share with you anymore they done packed up picked up and gone and then they're sitting up acting like it was all them when it was really you that covered them in their ignorance God said that's okay that was a setup I was training you because I wanted them out of the way before I blessed you Ah, what, what's this what's this and, and what what happens in a separation what happens when we're hurt is that we drop our heads and we're kind of bent over in spirit there are many of you that's been with your head dropped bent over thinking you done run out of time all lost and everybody's done moved on and you're stuck God said to tell you something he said Ooh, lift up your eyes now what's this and look from the place where you are northward southward eastward and westward look look at me look around you now 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 watch this remember the most powerful thing you have is your imagination when I was reading that I wasn't seeing you I was out of this sanctuary I saw myself addressing the nation and being introduced by the president I saw myself standing up in nations and kings receiving me I don't know what you're doing you looking around at the sanctuary I saw myself blessing many folk and going places where folk won't go but when I show up I manifest God and everything's got to change look around lift up your head what's this what's this what's this this is what God says this is what he says I'm about through for all the land touch your eye that you see What's this? I give to you and your descendants and I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth so that if man can number the dust of the earth then your descendants also could be numbered arise and walk in the land its length its width for I give it to you what was this I'm through God says if you can only believe all things are possible I have not destroyed your inward ability to see your way into what's this what I have already given you what's this My daughter this week kept begging me. She wanted to go to this concert. She kept begging me and kept begging me, not knowing I had the tickets for two weeks ahead of time before she even prayed to me. You gotta hear this. Before she uttered up her first prayer, Daddy, can I go to the concert? 
I had already purchased the ticket. I, being God of the house, did not say anything until I checked with the Holy Ghost. But just in case. So before she asked, she had a ticket. Watch this. And two days before the concert, I still did not reveal to her yet that I was going to allow her to go. But every time she talked to her mother, she talked with her imagination of how great it's going to be at the concert because she knew she was going and so she was not waiting on the release because she already saw the picture what's this what's this what's this God says if you can believe the picture in your mind's eye if you can look around eastward, northward, southward, westward and see in the spirit everything that I have given you if you can envision it speak it! what's this? this is not a license for crazy or vain imagination because your imagination and your vision is birthed out of your meditation of the word if what you see is not based on the word it's not God I had to throw that in there but God said to tell you today I called the game and now I'm going to restore unto you everything the first three quarters stole. Oh, hold on. I know this message is for you because I, I had a hold, but God just cut through the chase. God said, that's, I don't know who I'm talking to, but if I start talking to you, you need to start running down there. That you felt like this week that you were so far behind that there was no way that you can come back. Who am I talking to? You better start walking. You better start walking. And every day, every time you turn around, looks like you were even losing even more. And you felt like you were being skunked. <laughs> I know this is for you. I know this is for you. You felt betrayed. Come, 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 come. Mm. I'm here to tell you. I got some things I got announced to you in this fourth quarter that's absolutely gonna blow your mind I mean blow your mind and I see opportunity that's already been open to you I got a phone call out of the clear blue from Ohio two weeks ago and somebody started they were in the corporate America and they said I heard you and what you said and I've come all the way down at the risk of losing my job but because I'm saved I have made arrangements to open this thing up for you you gotta hear this I didn't go after it I just casually spoke something and God troubled somebody's heart in another state and kept them up watch this you got to hear this to work out the details 
And I said at the end of the meeting, well, what I'm supposed to do? Sign this. I said, well, where the money going to come from? We'll build it in the budget. You, you, you didn't hear that. And you want to know what? The whole thing was something to bless the youth of this community. And because it was kingdom purpose. To get our youth off the streets on Fridays and Saturday nights. God troubled somebody. I'm here to tell you, God's burdening somebody with that which you have imagined in your spirit. What's this? What's this? Gotta hear this. Gotta hear this. I want you to hear. Put your arm around. I don't want you holding nobody's hand. I want you to put your arm around somebody. I need, I need you to look at me because I'm through. Look at me. God troubled me so. It's, yesterday I was in total conflict. Yesterday was hell. Because yesterday was my wife's birthday. But God locked me in a room on her birthday. And I was torn. Lord, do I stay here? My wife needs me on her birthday. And even though I took her out the day before, it's her birthday. You know how you ladies are. <laughs> this is my birthday. But yet in all of that, as she makes sacrifices for you, I sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there and just couldn't leave. Because God wanted to get a message to you. He got me up early and said, watch your son. Sit by yourself and watch him. Watch his team. But he said, now watch the other team. He said, that's the saints. Every attack of the devil, they can't stop. A lot of times, the other team had my son's team down uh, fourth and 20. I just knew they was going to stop them. And then they would just hand the ball off and the guy would run 60-yard touchdown would break their back sometime it looked like you were just about to win and then something would come and knock you right out from under your feet God said I called that game <laughs> he said this moment this fourth quarter October November December is for you and every enemy that had victory over you no more I says I says gotta hear this and the confusion I gotta hear you. please understand. my wife and I Friday night went out to a delightful play the color purple and at the Lions Theater, some of y'all need to do more than go to church. And, um, and while I was in the lobby in intermission, a guy ran into me. He said, I've been looking for you. I said, He's looking for me. He said, I flew in all the way from California and God had me come to this play because he gave me a word for you. And I didn't even know you was going to be here. I said, he said, I just flew in. And he said something to me that echoed in my spirit that I have to pass down to you. He said, God said to tell you that even though it looks like everything is out of control in your life, he said that chaos is his order. And he's clearing up some stuff that you can't see and setting you on a platform that he's about to launch you into something. He said, I've been burdened with this for a long time. And as soon as he said that, my baby woke up because I've been burdened with that, trying to figure out where is this and where I am and why is normal not normal? And God said, it wasn't about Lot and who he separated you from. I wanted to bless you so big, I didn't want nobody around you that didn't deserve it. Because from this point on, whoever hangs out with you can't help but be blessed. You are hearing me. I said can't help but be blessed. 
you ain't hearing me i said can't help but be blessed because of what's dripping off of you now now look at me because this is a hard thing to do it's a hard thing to do it's a hard thing to do lift up your head and see whisper that to somebody say lift up your head and see what God has already well, you got to hear this I ain't saying he working out what he has already given to you already yours already declared and if you can come in agreement with me and if you can believe this thing now, now can I can I help you just a little bit more I know I said we're gonna start getting out here early but I gotta push help your imagination whatever God shows you in the spirit find something close to it in a picture hang it on your mirror put it in your car put it in your Bible that every time you wake up you're reminded about what's in your spirit you're reminded about why your head is up you're reminded put it in your cubicle put it in your office What's this? you keep it ever before you and then call those things <laughs> we, we, we got a uh, uh, sister uh, Lisa Bowden who's on staff every week sends an email from my messages of confessions that every morning we should get up and start confessing it when you rise up in the morning start speaking that stuff before anything else gets off your tongue start speaking it go look at the picture go go see it again go internalize this thing again because soon as it gets up all in you and when somebody says that ain't yours you say that's mine when they look at you and try to cause doubt you just don't even talk mutter to yourself that's meditation that's mine that's mine that's mine that's mine that's mine, that's mine. somebody say they don't lost their mind meditation is muttering I'm just that's mine that's mine I declare it's mine that's mine they'll call you the bag lady well I don't care what they call me that's mine that's mine that's mine let me pray over you tell your neighbor believe again no 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 now I don't, I don't want this prayer from the Bible there's a prayer that one said Lord I believe but help my unbelief I don't want you to say that just say Lord, Lord I, believe I believe all things, all things are, possible are possible through you through you. you have already, have already given, me given me everything, everything. I, can I can see eastward, eastward. Westward. westward north, north. south, south. It's, mine. it's mine I declare it I lift up my head and I'm walking in my promise and this chaos happens to be order and this fourth quarter is mine in Jesus name I declare it for the kingdom now give God praise you done set it up 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 if you're not saved come on up on the platform oh don't stop cheering come on you done set it up you done set it up hug about five people and say we're in the fourth quarter now but it's a new game it's a new mind hug five folk it's a new situation I'm going to win I have won I shall come 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 I don't want nobody walking out the door right now. Nobody walking out the door. We're all walking out in one minute. Nobody. I need somebody just start putting your hands together. Putting your hands together. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what an awesome God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for meeting me where I am and taking me where you want me to be. Thank you for being the lifter of my head. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Who is it? It is the King of glory. Watch this. Watch this. Now, now I need everybody. I need, I need, I need, I need you. I, I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. 
because number one I don't want anybody leaving this place unsaved and so I need some help right now just for a few moments just stand where you are stand where you are turn around face the podium if you're not saved I need you to come running I need you to come running I need you to come running if you're not saved and those of you in this house that I'm your pastor and you've been in hiding and you know I'm your pastor you know I just came and read your mail you need to come right now grab your stuff say this is the day I'm getting radically in order I'm not sitting back I'm not wasting time this is the day who's coming who's coming who's coming who's coming who's coming right now who's coming I see you. I see you. this is come on 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 you see him coming, pat him on the back, say, go ahead, child. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, pat him on the back, say, come on, come on, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm walking with you. Come on. There's a whole lot of men in here that need to start walking. I said there's a whole lot of men in here that need to start walking. Come on, walk together. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Watch this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Watch this. I, 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 I'm going to do this. I don't do this often. God bless you, sir. Give him a good hug, Elder Prue. Give him a good hug. Walk with that brother. Come on. Come on. This is a day of radical transformation. This is the day of election. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day.